Hello everyone, my name is Jax, and today we're going to create a radio menu, a context menu, and a notification bar using the script called Aux Library. Now, Aux Library is an in individual script, so our script that we're going to use, Aux Library 4, is going to depend on that script. In doing so, we do need to install the script. So to do that, we need to go to Chrome, type overextended, Dot dev, it'll bring you to the introduction screen. We're going to type aux library or aux lib for short. We're going to click on the GitHub link, which will go to here. And if you want to use GitHub desktop, what we're going to do is you're going to press where it says master. This is a drop down. We're going to go to tags and we're going to type the latest tag or the one at the very top. If you don't have GitHub desktop, you want to just click under the releases and download the zip file. But in our case, we're going to use GitHub Desktop, so we're going to press code, open with GitHub Desktop. Um, GitHub Desktop will appear, and um, we want to press choose, and we want to navigate to our server. So for me, it's just on my desktop, so we're just going to clone that there. So now we have Aux Library installed. You can see it's in my resources. All we need to do is just add it to our resources right here. So ensure xlib, and I'm also going to ensure script as well. That way it automatically starts. If your server is already running, you can just do refresh and then ensure xlib. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and just connect to my server here. While I'm doing so, we can go ahead and create our radial menu. So from here, we do need to type a constant called lib. So we're going to do exports. So inside square brackets and quotes, we're going to do aux underscore lib. So this is taking all the exports from the resource. So now anytime we call uh, lib, it'll know where it goes because of the export. So now we can go ahead and create the radial menu. So to create the radial menu, we want to start with lib.addRadialItem followed by parentheses and square brackets. And then we're gonna type curly brackets and the ID is going to be general because it's gonna be like the general items. The label is going to be general with a capital G and the icon can be a globe. We're going to make this go to a menu. So the menu name is going to be general name. And after this, we're going to make another one with kind of the same format with ID label, all that, except we're going to make this do an action upon selection. So we're going to do ID and we're going to do general two. And on this one is going to be label label is general two, and then the icon will be, let's do globe Europe, globe Europe. And then on select, we're gonna do a colon, parentheses, equals greater hand sign, curly bracket. Inside the curly bracket, we're just gonna do a console log. I was selected, and now, we need to make the menu for general main for the general, because if we don't, nothing will happen. It'll just, it'll print error messages. So we want to do lib.register radial parentheses curly brackets ID, and the ID is going to be general colon main. Under here, we're gonna do items colon square bracket curly bracket label, which will be item one, icon will be a square, and the on selects can be console log. We'll do square was selected, and we'll do the same thing, but item two and a circle. Circle was selected, there we go. So now this is how you create a radio menu. So we just add a radio item. We add a few things here. We add some icons, labels, on selected. It says I have selected. If we select this, it'll go into this menu and it'll show these two items. So now 
let's go ahead and restart our script. So the name of my script is called my script. That's one word. So I'm just going to do ensure my script start. Now I am in my server right now. So I'm going into go in game. The default key to open your radio menu is Z. So as you can see, we have general and general two. For some reason, the icon did not load for general. I must have typed it in wrong. But if we press general, we have item one and two. Again, the icon's not appearing because I probably typed it wrong. Basically, we have item one, square was selected, and then item two, circle was selected. If we're in an item, we can press the arrow here to go back. We can go to general two, and general two says I was selected. So that's how you create radial menus for your, for your server. We're going to move on to context menus now. So for context menus, it's pretty straightforward. We're going to type lib.register context, and we're going to do parentheses followed by curly brackets. And here we're going to do ID, and we're going to do menu, and then title is with the square brackets and then curly brackets. We're going to do one that says, uh, welcome to the server. For this, we want to disable it from being clicked or clickable. So we're going to type disable true. And the next option, we're going to do another set of curly brackets, again with title. And we're going to do join our Discord. And then description is discord.gg slash whatever. And then I guess on select, we can just do like opening discord or something. So that this is register context. And then down here, we can do a register command function real quick called open context. And then we're going to do lib.show context and then the ID. So in this case, menu. So this is how you create a context menu. You have the ID, which is for opening the menu, have the title, which will be displayed at the top, and then your options, which are the actual clickable buttons within the menu. So we have the first option, which is welcome to the server. It's just informational. It's not clickable because it's disabled. And the second option is to join the Discord, which is selectable. And in this case, it console logs opening Discord. It doesn't actually open Discord. It just says that it does, which is a lie. So now let's go to our game here. I'm going to go ahead and restart the script. So now if we did open context, we can see the menu at the top. Welcome to our server. Join our Discord. So that's the context menu there. So now let's go ahead and move on to notifications, which will be the last part of this video. So there's two types of notifications. There's the standard one, which just has title, description, and like the type, so success or warning or something like that. And then the custom, which is the same thing, but you can change the background color, you can change the logo, you can change all these different types. So let's go ahead and do the custom one because I think that one's more, you want to play around with that a little bit more. So let's do lib underscore notify and we're going to do parentheses curly brackets ID and we're going to do notification in quotes. The title will be welcome to the server, the description can be please type slash open context to see the menu. We're going to do the position will be the, let's say, center right. Now we're going to get to more of like the styling part, style, and then curly bracket. We're going to do the background color. Background color is a hex. So it's black would be 141517 and color. So that's the color of the text, which is the same. So 
C1, C2, C5. Probably like a white, more lean towards gray type color. And then we're going to do quotes dot description, if I can spell description. And then we're going to do color, which is 909296. And then lastly, we're going to do con, which will be a check and icon con color, which will be C53030. So now this should have like a blackish background with like a white text leaning towards gray text. And then the icon is a check mark. Maybe we can do like check circle or something. So let's go ahead and go to our game here. Restart our script. And then now look, it says, welcome to the server. If I do that one more time. Welcome to the server. Please type slash content open context this evening. So isn't that just great? So that's how you make a radial menu, a context menu, and a notification um, menu. So thank you all for watching. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and want to see more content like this. Join my Discord for any updates on videos when I post and when I go on live. And continue following along this playlist to learn more about how to use TypeScript and React within 5M. So that is all from me, you guys. So deuces.